That is if you speak German. We're the four horsemen. Quad four. Four. Speak German. I'm Satire, aka EBA, aka Satire, aka EBA. Fox, or your dad. AKA Mothra DB. One day I'll tell you what the DB stands for. I got some Hello My Name is stickers that stay filling on the graph, seeing and everything. And then, like, here's a throw. Well, a throw on throw on a throw. This is fun to do. 75 of these bad boys will be coming my way on vinyl. I'm pretty excited about it. They're gonna be full color? Full color. Wow. I can't wait. Yeah, you're gonna get one probably too. Maybe. Two and a half. Yeah, we'll, we'll cut them and split them up. Yeah. So we'll cut it in the middle, and we'll mail one to Ito, and mail one to Peros, because they're the only two that watch this on a regular basis. <laughs> Love you guys, by the way. You're awesome. Glad that you like your back, by the way, Peros. So this is something, a little fun thing here. Oh no, what's going on here? They just have eye contact. Maybe they're looking at you though, lovingly. I don't know. They're connected. Yeah. Here's a, one of my favorite throwies, one of the more interesting throws that I did. Because I had a little more different style to it. The letters and throws, 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 and throws. No sketch character. Literally just thought of it, thought of it, and then did it. I literally was thinking about Old Boy, and uh, whenever he has the hammer, and it draws the line where it connects where he's about to hit the guy in the face with it. It's weird. Another hand drawn one is a lot of fun to do. A little bit more stippling in it. More throwies. More of them. They're the throwy throws with throwing and, and, and Yeah, there's a lot of them. There's this guy again. I've been drawing him again a lot lately, so. And again. Yeah. Oh. And again. And it's in the form of a one color. No sketch. A light boob. Light, light boob. He likes boobs! Yeah, I think everyone likes boobs. Thumbs up if you like boobs! Like us if you like boobs. It's another no sketch character with a throw to the side. Another no sketch with a, with a shout to the sales tree. This is another character, kind of like loosely based on the the previous one that I had, but this is a lot of fun to do. Because uh, zombies and shit like that really are a big staple in my art. and. Then, like, if you follow Paros on Instagram, you'll see. <laughs> yeah. If you follow Paros on Instagram, you'll see a few of these, like this, this big in there, this right here. If you listen to Riff Raff, you'll understand tip towing in my Jordans, our Jordans. Um, uh, I got pencil sketch for Bell going into my Dunrobe in the old, 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 old. Um, yeah, pencil sketch. I'm really happy with these letters. Uh, C R U Z. Um, probably give you the finished version of their wagon. This is this portrait I'm doing. So uh, basically, I, I'm really not happy with this at all. I mean, like at all. And I I have tried, and I'm gonna layer down some more colored pencils on it. But this I'm happier with. This is uh, Beyonce. I was asked to do Beyonce. <laughs> has to do Beyonce. Oh, I was asked Better to draw. Better Jay Z. Uh, I was to draw. Uh, 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 I was asked to draw Beyonce. This is also not fast. The only thing I've been able to work on for me is this fucking Optimus Prime. Optimus Prime, motherfuckers. So another person that was commissioned, they wanted an elephant and they wanted it in henna style. So this is, I mean, like, I'm not even close to being finished with this, but it's going to be black and white. This is for a tattoo. She basically, and this is a photo I took of an elephant too, by the way. I took the, I took the photo, the original photo, and I, I took the photo that I took and penciled that in, and then I slowly have been drawing in what the henna stuff looks like on top of that. Kind of still trying to maintain the contours. It's really different. She's really happy with it. I mean, it's what she kind of had in her mind, so, um, you know, uh, when it's done, it's going to be interesting, because I've never done anything. I've, I've fucked with henna art a little bit, just down on the side, just like messing around. I've never really done henna art, like, as, especially as commission. This is where I'm at on the Terminator piece. I had like some red crawl, and then these are all the deep, like these are going to be a bunch of Terminators, this is Hunter Killers and Carnage, and then this is all like skulls, and then there's like a dead Terminator right here. 
And so I have all the sorcerer. And this is all going to be with uh, red and black, red and black, and white. And um, it's just going to be you know, like a red, like a dark red sky that goes like a red sky with white mist around it. So the, the finished product, you know, this is in the, the, the production book. This book is just productions. I never really shared, like, I know, I know there's videos for every single one of these pieces, but this book is nothing but productions. It's just two page, three page, four page pieces. And when I finish, it's gonna be, man. And, it's, and I, I started this book two years ago and I've done about 20 drawings in it now, all together, in two years. What is that, 10 drawings a, a year? Oh, That's not even 12 drawings a year. This is gonna be a two pager, but it's just, I'm, just, I'm doing these hodgepodge things, just stuff I'm interested in. And this started off, uh, I didn't like the yellow and blue that I'd done, so I, you know, yellow blue makes green. And the green looks really good, I'm happy with it, and I put this little thing in here that says, uh, the condition gets worse, rectal bleeding occurs, consult primary, uh, no. So yeah, there's a little warning about rectal bleeding here. Uh, and then this is Eddie, which I've, I'm not an Iron Maiden fan, but I've always, always loved the Iron Maiden cover art that Frazetta, which he didn't do it, but Frazetta's style of fucked up shit they would come up with for those. And the way that they would try to work him into different things. But this is probably the most famous Iron Maiden cover is him with the axe and the hands pulling. You know. Here's the, um, this is what I'm talking about when I say like these, these collage type pieces, where basically, you know, it's, so this one, this page is all monkeys, which the other, the other page is not going to be all like one thing, but this, these page, this are all monkeys, so. You've got this uh, monkey with a, one of those drum machines from the old school hip hop era, and then you got a monkey with a gun, and then over here you got a monkey. Uh, look at that. actually it's a photo I took. This is um, artwork for my niece that she really loves. Uh, my, my sister really loves this style of artwork, so she's decorated like my niece's entire bedroom with this stuff. And of course, the monkey from Family Guy, you know. And it says primate, and then over here it says. Evolved Stylo, and then it's got a quote from Marilyn Manson that says, this is evolution, the monkey, the man, then, and this is the gun, the gun, the gun, the gun. And there's lots of like, and this is like, kind of like cut, uh, woodcut style art. I was just, you know, fucking around, different things that I'm into, and trying to tie them all together and make them, oh yeah, and even, even the piece for my niece says, yo Ella, right there, yeah, because that's my niece, so she's one. Yo, stop fronting and use your head. Do you even know what bands your dad's in? No. He doesn't know. All I do is stay at home. Hey, I don't yeah. talk to him about us. I don't care. They're not like us, man. We were coming up, we were kids, we were into stuff, you know? We had music idols, heroes that we looked up to. I think the landscape of what's out there is pretty bleak. I think it's just the age that they're at. The derp step. You know, what's the <laughs> derp, 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 derp step? Derp. The herp derp step? The derp step. Derp. Holy crap! <laughs> It's in the very top of this tree. Oh my gosh! 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 Oh my gosh
there's a, a God. I don't know if it's the God that we read about in the Bible, but I mean, I've done, I've done so much research on this, on this over the years, and it's, and I think the thing that started it was, you know, I'm like quarter Iroquois, quarter Cherokee, and when I heard my grandmother say that all Native Americans were burning in hell because they never knew Jesus, I was like, what a, what a shitty God. <laughs> that's, all, that's all I can think of. I mean, he loves everybody. It's like, oh, you didn't know me? Well, uh, you're dead. And only you're dead, I'm going to punish you for eternity. <laughs> I, I refuse to believe that. I, I, I can't see that. But I mean, I've seen, we've all seen stuff, you know, in our lives where, you know, there, there's got to be something. I don't give a shit what it is, but there's too many similarities between the existing religions. Whatever's out there appears to everybody in a different way. That's kind of how I feel about it. So I feel like you have every right in the world to question God because he made us imperfect. So there's, and I don't give a shit what anybody says. You cannot even begin to comprehend omnipotence. Yeah. It's just not, it's not possible. We don't even know what that means. If we even got like a piece of it, I think we would just pop, just die. You, you know what Burroughs said about what? that? A God that's omnipotent, all powerful, can't do anything because the act of doing something means that there's some sort of opposition. If there's opposition, then you can't do anything. Then, then obviously you're not all powerful. You can't go anywhere because you're already everywhere. So. You can only exist off of friction, and since friction doesn't exist naturally by you, you have to have someone created for you. So, yes, mankind thing. I'm not so bold as to say it's like aliens or some shit like that, but I, I, I do believe that. It? <laughs> but it was totally like, aliens. Oh, okay. But the omnipotent Illuminati lizard shapeshifters who rule the entire. <laughs> <laughs> I got this buddy up here. I'm gonna do the Harlem Shake now? You do the Harlem Shake. <laughs> I think it's like Dance Against Terrorists. Can, can we just admit what? that the Harlem Shake is stupid? The Harlem is it, it, That's the point. Can we just admit that. The whole point, you know, I was, for the longest, I was that old rock guy for hip hop. That, Man, hip hop today sucks. I do think that most of what's on the radio sucks. <laughs> yep. And I, I was like, Rap's changed, man. The coach that you know, rap not changed. Rap, rap has changed. Not really. It has. But. Examples. Hasn't changed. It's still there. No, it's all the right underground now, stuff, that's my point. Yeah, we're it's still there. We're rewarding the dumb shit. And that's the problem. But the problem is, if someone doesn't assassinate Lil been. Wayne soon, I'm going to lose my mind. <laughs> I think he's over with for like right now. I think. Dude, I hope so. It's like whenever you post stuff, it's like one of the best pick of my. I'm like, yes, yes. And I'm always liking him. And I realize something. I'm like, everyone knows how old I am now. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm just like. Nobody does any type of trending, they're gonna know. <laughs> it, but it's true! I like, I like it, any music where someone believes it, even if I don't like it, I can respect it. You know what I mean? Yeah. It can I be... Remember, I remember Ice Cube? Yo, yeah. Yeah, Ice Cube, man. Cause he said some stuff, you were like... Wait, what? Yeah, dude, Ice Cube. Pin the tail on the honky? <laughs> and dude, I was like... Was the actual name Didn't they you were going to use for... Uh, Gorillas in the Mist, that the record label wouldn't let them. Did you not? And that's not an urban legend. That's the truth. It. That's that's the God I love Ice Cube. gospel truth. I, I love think Ice Cube. Everybody did, man. I think Ice Cube made me hate white people so much. <laughs> that's how Dead Prez makes me feel. Dude, it made me so mad. And I can actually say that without like a bit of jest because I'm not 100% white, so I can get away with it. That's my thing. You should have like. I don't think anybody, anybody is, dude. Nobody's. Because those are things, race. Race does not exist. There is two races, Democrat and Republican. Uh, good thing I'm a Republican. <laughs> I only vote Democrat. 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 What's up, man? <laughs> I know. Dude. I would love to see Ryan, DMC, and the two remaining Beastie Boys with its master Mike and Taylor from the Super Bowl. And they're on, they're all, you know, like they're all. From the you know from the same background they know each other they work with Rick Root. Yeah. You watch him, he's a big boy. He's like, oh yeah, we're totally we're on tour, we're performing together, and the new album is coming. We're we're gonna be in the studio, we're gonna record. You know, uh, I got this one together, I got this one, I got this first waiting on, on Andre. Talk so, to Andre. Andre is like, no, I it's never happened. It's never, never, ever, 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 ever happened. Well, I'm done. Same thing with Run DMC. You talk to Run, and Run's like, oh yeah, DMC. He stopped by with cool, blah 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 blah. You talk to DMC, DMC's like, no, I do it. Done. Yeah. Flava Flav put out an R&B album while Flava Love Love was on the air. Flavor of Love. 
What? Play and really? it's all auto tune. Yeah. <laughs> and it sounds like he got someone stock shitty instrumentals from like the 1980s. Mm -hmm. And you can definitely tell he recorded it himself. And there's a music video for it that was shot on one of these cameras. Sweet! For one of the songs. If you want to check it out on YouTube and hear what I'm talking about. I have no hair. Mm -hmm. I'm getting old. More hair yeah, than I'm you. I'm getting old. I have more hair than you. No, you don't. Look at his chin. Yeah! His hair! You know how birds go- Oh, snap! Do not pull that. Oh, 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 oh. So bad. oh my god! And it was fun times. So, we're in my front bedroom, and there's a desk, my, like a desk I've had since I was like, like 12. And I get up, middle of the night, which wakes Kelly up. I walk over, I grab a drawer, pull it out, dump all the stuff out, put it back in, pull out my dick and start peeing in the drawer. <laughs> and she goes, are you peeing? And I was like, nope. Took it out, walked away. I woke up when she said, are you peeing? And I was like, whoops. <laughs> so I'm just, did, did it stay like in the drawer or did it, it, it didn't pour out? My dad buys good furniture. <laughs> <laughs> Dead. Wait, wait, wait. One more time? Crush MCs. Grab a mic and stab a brutal and jump. I recently started back in this whole steer trade thing. I got my first pack from our friend Peros. And let me just say, it's probably one of the best packages I've ever gotten. But first and foremost, thank you again so much, Peros. Two of these. Like, I don't know who these belong to, but they're fucking awesome. They threw in a piece from the Mighty Edo. That motherfucker's 2 of 20, so. Shout out to Tito, one of the nicest people in graffiti, one of the nicest people in general. Here's this uh, postal uh, film with paint pen, and that's just fucking nice. Those letter structures are great. It's like that's just that's just that's just insane. Perfect letter structure, spot on every spot on execution, and just like this look, just like bam, bam. And then there's a nice, uh, damn good throw right here. Very solid work. I mean, very, 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 very happy to receive this package because it's very evident that Peros doesn't play when it comes to this package shit. Matter of fact, this is how excited I was after I got the package. I look like this guy. Don't drink or smoke. I don't, yeah, I don't drink or smoke. I'm one of those kooky straight edge people, so. And. Also included a, from this guy from Ritz. Looks fucking awesome. I like that because it's back all state bomber, which uh, that's that's cool. That's some delicious shit right there. That's just there's styles for days and just this is fucking awesome dude. Like just the just, just so fucking unique. It just stands out and like you know, the throwy looking uh, styling of letters. Very nice. And fucking hand styles for days. Some more throwy stuff, and it says Moth. So that's a shout to me. More hand styles. I love that one. Yeah. Because, like, thermals are just. And here's another good pair of speaks. And if you can really, if you look at it, you can, for any type of way, if you look at it close enough and everything, you don't really see that there's any type of, like, lines or any type of sketching. So that's just, like, pen to paper. There's another one from Rinse. Holy shit, I know that him and both Peros and Duro have been talking about, you know, not having the strikeable hand styles and everything, and that's, that's getting, there. that's getting there. Just solid, just style, just, just being able to have, like, a different style almost for hand style. Another good solid piece. I know, like, I fucking love this. This is great. It's uh, an actual print. That's done on, that's done, like, on, uh, like, a postal and everything. Uh, you'll see that there's a video where... He's talking about his package, <sighs> and uh, it references yeah, funny. <laughs> that references uh, one of the stickers that Satire actually sent him. So here's his take on that. Doing you know, Mothra, which is fucking awesome. I think it's a very good homage to that piece, and definitely you know speaks for itself, even with his own style and personal. It's just, it's just fucking great. The more that lettering style that's done completely off the cuff, pinned to the paper. 
Wham bam, thank you man, there it is. Here's another Mothra piece, done paint pen, fucking awesome. More hand styles and more hand styles. If anyone's really on top of their shit right now, thanks Paros! Thanks Paros! You're my friend. Hey! Watch the thing show! Rate, subscribe, comment, tell people all about it! I'm Mothra, and I'm awesome, because I'm Mothra. Hi, everybody. Watch the Vin Show. Fuck that guy. Spiteful, you be losing that race. Funny when you look at my kids, you see me in their face. The race is not for the quick or whoever comes first. Damned if you do or don't, it's a gift and a curse. Since birth, I've watched you grown, how your father can play. Sometimes I sit and wonder, was I the same way? Now the day passed by, I didn't wish I was with you, but it's messed up like a blind man painting a picture. My father wasn't there when I needed him most Till I became a man and understood I needed him close Most women quick to call a dude a deadbeat dad But those who try and get no respect man shit make me sad Glad for the choices I made could have ended up worse I got my own place happy and I'ma keep you close Can't nobody come between us yo it is what it is Cause ain't no love stronger than the father has for his kids Yeah Christmas day is how you love Pop Wheels My kids Anything you want you need I got it for you took you from Brooklyn to Georgia
look back at you and say, being alive. Because life is beautiful. I feel dutiful and focused. Because sometimes the smile that I show you is bogus. Some folks just got the tenacity to act shitty. Sometimes it's not an act, but facts so gritty. No fat so pity, no shame for my condition. I'm just pleased that there are people who want to listen. Mm. My ego is a zeppelin with teeth and claws. Ooh. It snaps my common sense, collapses into its jaws. The maw of no hope, man, impeach the president. It wasn't MS that earned these antidepressants. Ooh. Unpleasant thoughts caught under weight of my lies. Pure pretty light shines from my niece's eyes. Damn. I'm as tired of me as my loved ones are. Why is it the closest countries are always at war? Why do we fight ourselves and not the monkey on our back? But even in a full eclipse, the sky does not turn black. So when the sun shines covered by the moon in the afternoon, I can still see clearly what to do and how soon. That's sick. That's crazy right there, yo. So that's the first verse, Shit. hopefully. Shit is deep. Thanks, man. This song is about suicide. And it's about sadness, mm. but at the same time, it's a it's a it's a happy song. It's not a sad song about sadness. Mm. It's a song about sad things. So if you know me, you know that I watch fuck ton of YouTube. And what's more popular on YouTube right now than these goddamn challenges? This, the ALS Ice Bucket Challenge, the Cinnamon Challenge, the, the Set Yourself on Fire Challenge, the Drink a Gallon of Milk Challenge. I haven't really participated in these, but we decided we'd make our own challenge. And ours is going to be the Biotoxin Poison Challenge. I actually ordered this online. Off of Amazon. Yeah, Off of Prime Amazon, yeah. I, I, I With that Prime shipping. I was shocked that you can buy, apparently, stuff like this on Amazon. Who knew? We're going to challenge uh, Peros and Edo to follow us up on this. They take handfuls of this uh, nerve toxin. Um, I, it's based off of a plant called oleander. It's actually commonly used for um, shrubbery along like highways and stuff like that. So when you see freeway bushes, a lot of people don't know that the berries from those are extremely toxic. And what they cause is heart attack. We're going to both take... Oh, that should be enough. What do you think? I'm not a doctor. What do you think? Dude, I think that should be plenty. Okay. I'll just take it from the strip from the cap. Are you going to... Seriously, dude? Why not? Okay, so here we go with the poison challenge on three. One, two, three. Oh! Oh! Fuck it, nasty. Holy. Oh! Oh my god. Oh! Oh god! Shit, got aftertaste? Shit burns. Oh, did you take? Whoa! Uh, I took like a. Uh, well, that's forty-five dollars. I'll never get back. You're concerned about forty-five dollars right now? What do you mean? We just took poison. Oh, it's a challenge, though. I mean, it's the 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 poison challenge, you know. Yeah. What What are you trying to say? Well, I mean, it's not like you're going to get the $45 back. I doubt they have a money-back guarantee when it comes to poison. Well, no, I mean, I just, I don't know, I, I just... What did you expect to happen with this? I'm sorry, what? I mean, what did you expect for this to happen? Uh, the... That aftertaste is terrible. <sighs>
Yes. Here's on the steel guitar. 